Superheroes go animal. This body weight interval circuit activates all the major and minor muscle groups of the body, along with core stabilizers. Animals use their body to stay alive. Superheroes use their body to save the day. Start off with just uh, bringing the knees up. So let's warm up the shoulders. Let's try just alternating one going backwards. And let's alternate going forwards. Almost like a front crawl. Let's try one forward, one back. And around the other way. Chest stretch huggers. Alternate. Some side bands. there let's just bring the knee up open up the hips and some alternating lunge bringing the hands up make sure you plant that front foot fully All right. All right, round two, goose steps. I'm going to bring those arms up into more of a march. I don't know, if you want to do the goose wing flapping, you can go right ahead. Being an interval, we are going to do this a little bit quicker this time. All right, an inchworm. Over from one side, walk down, use the plank, and then bring the feet to the hands. And again, to plank, and again. One more time, this way. I'm gonna hit my head, and cheat a little. The plank. Last one for the inchworm. All right, duck walk. Squat down as low as you can. No need to quack unless you need to. It's the end of October and I'm still seeing ducks on the water. and tight on this one same thing with the arms and we're just gonna walk that's it so again all you're doing is you're shifting the weight from one side to the other as you walk your hips are gonna kind of roll over to the side I think it's harder turning This is where carpet comes in handy. All right, we're going into the monkey crawl. So again, this is lateral. So extend the arms out and just swing. Nice and light on the feet.
Alright, Spider-Man lunge. Nice little stretch in plank position. Extend the foot to the arm or to the hand. And then switch over to the other side. Try to keep your butt nice and low and alternate and back, other side and back, side, back, other side, one more on both sides, and last one, all right, bear crawl. So, on your hands and knees, again, you're going to be elbow to the knee, and then you're going to alternate elbow to the knee. Trying to stay down low, keep the arms just slightly bent. Again, you're rolling that hip from one side over to the other. One little bit here. All right, frog jump. Feet planted on the ground. Nice and roll forward on the balls of the feet and hop forward. And again, hop forward. Exhale as you hop forward. Last one. Alright, crouching tiger. Nice and low. Come down, bring the same side, hand to knee, staying down low, forearm on the ground, and alternate. Staying down low. Where do the tigers go after? It's not gazelles, that's lions. Mm. People, yeah. Tiger Kings. Yeah. Keep going nice and low, nice and crouching. Down. And we're almost done. Alright. Crab walk. And drive the hips up and start walking. So you go forward, let the feet kind of dictate. And now, when you're going backwards, it's going to be the hands that kind of dictate the start. Try to keep the hips up. Nice glute bridge. And again, crab walk. All right. Swing around into Spider-Man push-up. Let's do it. Come down and then one. Down and two. And three. Down and four. Down and five. Down and six. How many more can we do? Seven. Eight. Two more. Come on. We can do it. Nine. And 10. Dirty dog. All right, this time we're going to do it right. Hands and knees and toes on the floor. We're going to open up the hip. So looking face down, more or less between the hands, bring the knee up for one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch over to the other side. And again, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Superman on our bellies. Extend the arms and legs. 
and lift. Hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop it down. And last time up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And 2, downward dog. Palm heels to the ground. Try to get the heels to the ground. Feel them nice and tight in around both your uh, hamstrings and your calves. Trying to lock out those knees. So you're trying to pull the knees up. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and drop down to your knees. All right. Spider Man elbow plank. I think we might have missed this one on the last one. We're not going to miss it this time though. So we're an elbow plank. From there, we're going to bring the knee to the elbow and then back. And alternate to the other side and back. So this is just like the Spider Man push up, just that we're on our elbows. And again, last time on this side. And last time on the other side. All right, from there, side line clam. So weighing down, hand just touching the uh, butt, bottom of the ear. And we're gonna bring the knees up and drive the knee, open up the hips for two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch over to the other side. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Last exercise, the prone scorpion. So, aim flat on the ground, bring the foot up, and slowly try to get it so that the foot just touches, and roll it back. Try to keep the chest, both shoulders on the ground. So if you can't make it where you're touching with your foot, that's fine. Do it nice and slow and controlled. Don't try to force it. This should not hurt. Be nice and easy on the lumbar spine. Just take it easy for three, two, and one. Last side. Exhale as you extend over. Couple more. Last one. Let's do the cool down. Let's step forward. Feet planted, nice and solid on the ground. Bring the hand up and over. Other hand comes around. Try to interlock the fingers. Focus in around your breathing in around your lower abdomen, right around the belly button. Alright, let's bring the arms forward and then swing them around into warrior two pose. Now we're going to lean forward and down. Try 
turn their head and look up. Bring that hand down and let's bring the other hand up. down and this is lean back get a little bit of a stretch in the hamstring and let's do another animal pose into our pigeon Bring that foot back, now step forward with the other foot and come on up. And we're going to do the other side. See if you can touch your fingers. If you can't, don't worry about it. Again, we can always use something to kind of help with that if you're having trouble. Let's get into that warrior two pose. Arms are more or less along lines with the shoulders. Lean forward and down, other hand up. And bring it down and bring the other hand up. Shift the butt back and let's work that hamstring. So when you're leaning forward, try not to stretch out the head. Just kind of lean forward with the chest. Whole idea here is just working that hamstring here. All right, walk the hands forward and let's get into that pigeon pose. This is another one that we could have, could have added to the uh, animal workout, doing the uh, pigeon lunge. Oh well, maybe next time. And bring the foot back, and then from there, you can walk the hands to the, or feet to the hands, or hands to the feet, whatever you want. And come on up. Last little bit. Bring the feet nice and wide. You're gonna stretch out the lats a little and stretch out the hamstrings one more time. Exhale as you extend down, bending over. Nice deep breaths, and over to the other side. And to center, slowly come on up. Bring the feet under the body, roll the shoulders, exhale, palms up, breathe in. And slowly exhale, and one more. Exhale, and we're done. You all feel like superheroes.